Hello, you may have one of those、uh, Mighty Mule gate opener.、Uh, it's a kind of a cheap uh, uh, setup, but it usually works pretty well. Now, recently, uh, uh, my gate give up, gives out three beeps, and then three beeps and three beeps continuously. I'm doing all this research online, couldn't really figure out what's going on. Some they say it's a Um, revolution counter board problem. Some other people say it may be a motor problem.、Uh, so I called several times to Mighty Mule customer support, and this is the box I have.、Um, the particular model is five sixty mm five sixty, but、uh, I figured that the fi- the five hundred series. Uh, both actually are out of production. They're kind of similar.、Uh, so this is the motherboard or main board.、Uh, it comes with one battery and a second battery optional.、Um, they basically、uh, are connected power all to each other. And inside this arm, this is how it looks like before it was open. You have to op-、um, turn this wheel. Off and then remove all these uh, screws. Uh, and o- after you open it, you will see that the this is the main、um, circuit uh, connection uh, from the arm to the motherboard, not the main board, which will go here. They are color coded.、Um, so basically. Um, you can test each component. The main components are three parts. One is the main board. One is the、uh, revolution counter board, which is this one. It counts the wheel here. See the、uh, the wheel has holes on it. I think it's、uh, some kind of optic counter、uh, here to count how many、um, holes it gone it has gone through. So that'll Set you the extension limit.、Uh, the retraction limit is basically the the arm is fully retracted, but extension limit is decided by this counter. So this is the a counter board.、Um, if this is not working, then of course the whole thing is not going to work. It'll give you three beeps.、Um, this particular one has little click. So when this arm Got retracted all the way. It will touch this click, and then that knows it it has reached the end. Now sometimes you want to check if this click is touching or not. If it's not touching or if it's not making those clicking noise, you may want to just change the board, or you can just bend the metal to make sure they are functioning.、Um, so I test the motor. You can disconnect the motor from these、um, wire nuts. Uh, if you apply 12 volts on it, it's a DC motor. So if you apply red to black, black to red, it will extend the arm. If you p- apply red to red and black to black with a 12 volt DC, the arm will retract. I tested the motor; it was fine. If you want to know how do you change the motor, it's actually not that difficult.、Uh, you, there's a guy online you can、uh, uh, look into it. And、uh, there is a gear on the motor shaft.、Uh, you actually can buy a ten dollar、uh, instrument to remove the gear off the shaft instead of doing a heating method that's recommended by the guy from、uh, YouTube. But my, mo- my motor works fine. So the other problem is if you can check the uh, um, the uh,、um, uh, motherboard.、Uh, there are way to test the motherboard. Um, I will post the、uh, detailed information on the description. Basically, there,、uh, if you have one arm, there is one way to test it. If you have two gates, you know there is a master and slave. I think、uh, I only have a master. So they actually send me instruction how to test the motherboard,、uh, make sure it's functioning. I test the motherboard; it's fine, and I test the motor is fine. So the last、uh, option. Is the,、um, the last problem is of course the counter. 
Um, I bought new counter board, which is very cheap, like fifteen dollars on uh, Amazon, uh, um, and it doesn't uh, really do much. Then actually, I realized um, when I retract the uh, arm all the way in, you have to make sure this one is touched. Basically, it's clicked in. Once it's clicked in, the motherboard knows that you are at the fully retracted position. So then, if you click on it, you'll extend it out all the way out. Um, if you didn't touch that, of course, the motherboard doesn't know where your arms are, and uh, it's, it's going to give you a lot of error. So make sure this arm, this part, is fully touched this one before you test it. And of course, you can uh, click the master um, this is, I think it's um, right here. It's called the learn. This is the uh, master limit to learn how to how much you extend your arm. So um, you basically start from fully retracted position. Make sure this is touching the switch so the switch is pushed in so that motherboard knows that you are at fully retracted position. And then you extend the arm out by clicking on your remote until you have a desired position of your gate. Um, of course, this is applied to pull to open gate. If you have a push to open, that's a little bit different, but the general concept is the same. Uh, on a fully retracted position, this has to touch that in order for the whole thing to work. Otherwise, you'll get three beeps um, the description for three beeps is not very clear. It just said counter board error. It doesn't really tell you which part is not working, whether the counter revolution uh, counter board is not working or the motor is not working. Uh, I guess either way, you can get three beeps. Uh, some beeps even said the wire to the motor may be disconnected, which is very highly unlikely because this is a very heavy duty wire. Of course, you can always change the wire. It's a regular color-coded, uh, you know, uh, I think seven wires. Um, so it's, it's a very easy mechanism. This uh, motor, of course, it's a, a toy uh, motor. People use for like a, ba uh, a uh, toy car and so on for kids. Uh, the dial here, you have to make sure it's connected. To, it's a surge protection kind of deal. Uh, so it's a very easy setup. A uh, very simple mechanism. Uh, their YouTube uh, video tells you how to open a gear uh, box to change the motor. Um, you can do that um, uh, online. You can pay uh, $60 for a new motor, or you can get a $10 motor and put a gear on the shaft yourself. Uh, there's another uh, $10 uh, tool you can buy from uh, Amazon uh, to remove the shaft uh, pretty easily uh, instead of doing this knocking or heating method. Uh, hope it helps. So I, I'll uh, leave uh, the detailed instruction of how to test the main board or you call the motherboard uh, uh, below.